Also, this is another site where information called Wikipedia. So this tells you the list of the whitest cities in by uh, percentage by white population. And it gives you a whole start with New York. I'm not gonna go through the whole list, but the state of New York had, has a higher have a certain percentage, but it goes down to Los Angeles and it tells you the racial makeup of all these pe these major cities. Indianapolis and Columbus that have a certain population but they're still well mixed but they still majority rules Austin Jacksonville San Francisco San Diego San Antonio all the way down now they say now the cities with the highest percentage of white Americans include white Hispanics Laredo, Texas Highly, Florida Corpus Christi is Texas Texas Boise, Idaho um, Lincoln, Nebraska Spokane, Washington Gilbert, Arizona Mesa, Arizona El Paso, Texas San Antonio, Texas, Lubbock, Texas, and Madison, Wisconsin. And this would tell you, again, of all the population. So, as I know, when it comes to data like this, like, okay, is there someone, are you just saying this? No, this is actually tells you the 2015, back then, from 2010 to 2015 from all these different cities. But so this let me see. Um but yeah that's that's this is where I found this at. And then you so this is what it, it was how I, I found it was ranked. I got this. This was another one. It's about to pull up. Something with Yahoo. Still pulling up, still pulling up. Okay. So, so wherever the population is, so higher population core to ethnic, they still dominant, the dominant race as far as ethnic background. In fact, they said someone put. He said, "How many all-white towns in America?" Someone said nine. Nine. The answer is nine, according to this article. <laughs> nine all-white towns. I mean, predominantly white towns in America, I guess. Yep. So there it is. So if anybody complain about some black people getting land, they need to take a reassessment of how many towns. And someone said, well, we're, if I said I'm white, that's being racist. No, it isn't because here's the articles you want to go. But, and I'm like, nope, you're not racist. So if that's the case, then, um, then there was another, what they called back then, what they call sundown towns. Um, a sundown town known as sunset towns, grave towns, sundown towns, means it's all white principalities or neighborhoods in the United States that practice the racial segregation of excluding non-whites by some comments discriminating local laws, intimidation, violence, 
entire town and counties. The sundown suburbs were also created by the same process. And this this is the history of it that goes all the way back. You had to lead a sundown town by sundown, result in the southern states. At least in the early 1960s, northern states could be nearly inspitable to black travelers as states were Alabama and Georgia. This grinning practice's actions distinguish the sundown towns from towns that have black have no black residents to demographic reasons. Historically, we have confirmed sundown towns by the newspaper articles, his, counting history in works and progressive files. So um, America always had sundown towns. And this gives you the history of it. It goes back to the Jim Crow era. Uh, from Jim Crow grow all the way to the 60s. This tells you the article of it. And what went through. Oops, excuse me, sorry. That, that the sundown town also was in the suburbs. The suburbs had it, had it too. And this, this is books about about do, back during that time, different religious and ethnic groups. So okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is this is one um, tells you more about it. Someone actually wrote a book about 1940 edition of the Negro Motorist during the Jim Crow era in the 1940s. And what it was was called sundown towns were called ethnic ex exclusions where African men were not the only minority group to allow to live in white towns and during that time Chinese people were made up a third of Idaho's population 1886 anti-Chinese was in Boise Idaho um, Nevada was another western city and they, they give the history and they said in Colorado no Mexicans after after night in Connecticut whites only with whites sea limits after dark in Nevada the ban was expanded and exclude Japanese so this is this is a historically and this is how they stay for centuries in these towns this is how this but this is a brief history on it on sundown towns you hear you hear that terminology that's what it meant and that conclude people and you, you get caught going through them towns you had a bad day and this tells you more about the part series that are called racial segregation this is our sundown with Wikipedia alright then take care hope you enjoyed this till next time But before I go, before I go, I just want to say this. You can't really say someone is discriminating if you have towns with, with, with populations where they, the majority of them grow. You can't say that you, you're discriminating. And you clearly see that they hold a dominance and majority of people own acres of land out there so clearly you can't discriminate you can't discriminate because it's right here all the different cities is right there all these different cities it was, and that was the 10th in, in, throughout the United States yep, there are 10 that we that they that they took an article on rolls on rolls that's an actual article. So this is something that to that. All right, then. you guys take care. Get back with more data.